All right, here we are again. What do we got going on this time? Nothing super amazing in our hand. Flycatcher's a good forest bird for food. We're going first, so we're probably going to snatch that Clark's Grebe. That bee eater is good for grasslands. What else do we have going on? Platform and nest box. So we'll probably go with nest box builder here. Got the flycatcher, the grebe has the star nest. And if we do wind up with the bee eater, that also lines up. Otherwise, pretty generic. Birds with no eggs in round two. Second half is going to be egg heavy. What else in the tray? Nothing great. The sparrow is not great. What else do we want to attempt to grab here? Kind of looking at this barn owl. It's got a cavity nest. And we do have rats in the bird feeder. We might be able to make that work as a second wetland bird. Could keep one rat. There is one fish in the bird feeder, two fish in the bird feeder. So I think I'm going to roll with this. Then we're going to hope that we draw into something good once we have the owl and the grebe and the wetlands. Alright, so my opponent kept everything except one bird. So that must mean he had a pretty poor starting hand. That's kind of what that signals. They could have a good card drawing bird for the wetlands, so that's actually a decent position to be in. A card drawing gambit, I call it. I'm going to secure this grebe because I need it. This Barn Owl is a oh, Wilson Snipe, that's kind of a good bird. Lines up with the round 4 goal, but it hands out cards to everybody. But uh, as I was saying, this Barn Owl is kind of a weird keep from the starting hand, for me anyway. But it does line up with our bonus card, which is pretty great. So they did take the Bee Eater, as I expected. I'm going to now get down this flycatcher and start gaining food. I'm going to get the second rat and the fish for my other two birds. And we'll start drawing cards. Quick turns for my opponent. So let's go with the fish here. And we don't get the benefit from a worm. There's a bee eater from our opponent. Let's get our second Rat. Kind of a bummer. We're not be able, we're not scooping up any worms here with this flycatcher, but it's just kind of how it worked out. Nice fast plays from my opponent here. So they laid their eggs. They're going for maybe their second grassland bird, or they just needed a worm. Would have been nice to have those worms available, but I think we're just going to proceed with the plan here. Gain food action from our opponent, so they picked up a second wheat. And we're going to lay eggs here. We're going to get our barn owl down, and then we're going to draw cards, and hopefully we'll win this round goal. My opponent drew a card. What was that? It wasn't the magpie. Throw down our owl. Yellow hammer. Interesting. So he's got the food and the eggs to play another bird in the column two. So he's got one card in hand. If he plays a bird here, we're to win the round goal. 
don't want to... See, the magpie is a cavity nest, but it'd be more of a deny than uh, drawing it to actually help me. So, that's good. Good bonus bird. No cash. Another bonus bird. So these are basically identical. This one's got a ground nest for round four. Our chickadee's got a cavity nest for nest box builder. So we'll get rid of the bunting. Picked up our four points there. <clears throat> What's in the tray for us? Sap sucker is good. The rest is kind of garbage. Now this is where not getting those worms with the flycatcher is hurting us because we could just play the chickadee here. But uh, we're going to have to take a turn to gain food here. But we will pick up two worms unless my opponent happens to wipe that bird feeder out. Free card. I'll take it. Good bomb. So it looks like we want to ramp up our food production and then just start dropping these bombs. So in that spirit, I'm going to take this sap sucker. Let's see what we get off the top of the deck first. Cowbird is a good countermeasure for us. If my opponent focuses on their grasslands, they're going to at least lay eggs one time for their yellow hammer. So let's take this sap sucker. It's a little expensive, but good cash there. Another good bomb. What do we want to get rid of? We have a lot of good cards here. How good is the cowbird? It might be pretty good for us. Long spur. Got a ground nest. Warbler has a cup nest to go along with the cowbird. Need the sap sucker for more food. Need the chickadee for point scoring in our forest. Yeah, this is kind of this is a difficult decision. I think I'm going to give preference to the turkey over the long spur for the turkey's guaranteed points. Got to get rid of something. As much as it hurts. Raven pops up, rule 16. Well, that's just, uh, that just makes our cowbird even better. Violet green swallow pops up in the tray. I can't let that go. I have to draw that here. Whiteback woodpecker is better than the sapsucker. Good cash there. Great egret's a good bomb. I think we're going to get rid of the blackbird here. So we need three more cavity nests to max out our nest box builder. So we have one. Two, that's three, that's four. So I think we're actually going to have four, four spots left. We really need to get these birds down and start chugging away. What am I going to get rid of? I think this blackbird is going. Now I need to just start gaining food and getting these birds down. I mean, it's... I can't get locked into this and just card draw. But, you know, when stuff like if a raven pops up or kill deer or something, I mean, I gotta deny that stuff. Alright, so. Let's see. Do I have any excess cards? I think. I think I'm actually going to ditch the egret here. I just can't. I need to get some acceleration.
take the worm because I need it. We'll take the cherry because I need it. We'll take... We don't... Oh, we do have a cup nest down. So I could get my cowbird down. But I need wheat and I'm not going to be able to grab it here. So let's take the worm. My opponent's got the raven down, so now they're gaining eggs and two, or three food rather, per activation. But I wonder now if they don't abandon this yellow hammer. But we're, we're in a bad position here. They're gaining three food here from their grasslands, and it's just... We're kind of slow here in the first half, getting our stuff down. I think I'm going to throw down this woodpecker. Then I'm going to have to lay eggs and then I'm going to have to gain wheat to get my cowbird down. And my opponent's going to be able to accelerate fairly effectively. It's not over yet, but it's not looking good. We have good cards in our hand. But it's just a matter of getting them down and using them repeatedly. So there is a wheat in the bird feeder. I'm going to take it now since it's there. I think I'm going to grab this cherry for my turkey. Grab another worm. Grab another worm. bomb from them in the wetlands, get this cowbird down, and hopefully they lay eggs here to get food for their yellow hammer play, and then that will give us the egg we need to play our swallow. Nope, they drew cards, so they're going to lay off that. So I need eggs. And the round goal is birds with no eggs. So they can't, unless they play a vulture. I think we saw one in our opening hand, or maybe that was California Condor. So unless they play a zero food cost bird, we're probably going to win this round goal. So we could draw cards, or we can gain more food in preparation for our future plays. The bird feeder doesn't look that good. We could gain a wheat, grab the rat with the woodpecker, and then re-roll the bird feeder with the flycatcher. So let's do that. We'll take the wheat. Oh, I get two food here. So let's grab that rat. Take another wheat, take a worm. So they must have did a double play. No, they drew cards and they spent... Oh no, they played the Gossok. Zero cost bird off the yellow hammer. So... Alright, what's in the tray? Hummingbird? Yeah, it feels like this isn't good. I think we're just too slow. Now I need eggs here. So we have some excess food. Let's get rid of this rat. Eggs in the forest. There's a free card from our opponent. A little late for the toey. Is a ground nest. All right, so now we're finally in a position where we have eggs and food to start dropping these birds. So 
So we need birds in the forest, or eggs in the forest, rather. So we're currently looking at, they can have five, we can have five as well. I think we're going to get this swallow down. There, we finally get an egg off our cowbird. So what do we do next? This toey zero point play, I don't like it. But it helps me spam eggs and get food to help score points while I'm generating the food to drop these birds. One bird away from my nest box builder. Which one is that going to be? Chickadee or the sapsucker? Could drop the sap sucker here. Then play the toey. Then lay eggs. Sap sucker would max out our nest box builder. Toei will help us compete for the last round goal. But things just aren't. Now it feels like this game is kind of slipping away here. I'm going to need a card to tuck under the swallow. That's probably going to be the chickadee. If I play the tohi, use a wheat, then lay eggs, I can get the wheat back for the turkey. There's a peregrine. They could have rodentologist. So that's just even better for them. And then I'm planning on playing a zero point bird. It's just not good. They try to compete on this round goal though, that's gonna give us free eggs of our cowbirds, so that's nice. So there's their eggs. We will answer back. I think I'm going to spend this worm. Gannet is a ground nest, but it's just, I don't think that's good enough. Gray Lake Goose doesn't help with the round goal. I mean, it, it does, it has a ground nest, but what I'm trying to say is its power isn't going to double. does cost three wheat, so I'm going to go down to zero wheat after I play this turkey. I think I'm going to spend a wheat here. Put that last egg on the ground nest. Cycle the goose. Oyster catcher is a ground nest. So we're just coming up. Coming up bad here. It's really going to boil down to whether... They're not really building a gigantic grassland engine and scoring a ton of points. They are focusing on this yellow hammer play. But, you know, they're gaining three food plus eggs from their grasslands. Picking up an extra tuck occasionally from the falcon. And they've likely got rodentologist. 
So that's a beefy bonus card. Uh, it could be close. It doesn't feel close, but as I look at his board harder now, it does look closer than it might be. Or that I was thinking, rather. So there we pick up another free egg, so we are shaving that point off. His Grassland Engine kind of canceling out his point gains from the Falcon. Hopefully he doesn't have... He's got a ton of food, so... Hopefully it's nothing like Benelli or anything like that. And hopefully we can win this final round goal here. Nothing ridiculous in the tray. Oh, but he did play Eastern Imperial. So, what can you say, man? So let's go with the turkey here in the grassland. We've maxed out our nest box builder. And we'll just... Spam our engine. We're getting four or five points. Uh, we could get the... We won't get enough wheat together to play the Blue Winged Warbler here at the end. Just one of those games you just kind of lose because your opponent gets all the great cards. Oh yeah, I didn't, uh, that was a mistake. I didn't clear the Grebe. So, my bad. Yeah, that's gonna be, it would've filled up anyway. After that one point, I should have should have taken the two eggs off the grieve. I'm kind of losing my focus here because it just feels like I've kind of lost this game. So basically, I lost two points here off the grieve, or off the cowbird rather. Double play from my opponent. Partridge ain't gonna do nothing. So there's the second lost point off the cowbird. Kind of thinking for a minute maybe those lost points wouldn't matter because I would have filled up on eggs anyway, but it looks like I'm just going to I'll lay four more eggs here on my last activation. So really I just lost one point. Well, we needed that. So, <laughs> I glitched out there. Jumped right to the scoring screen, so let's see the damage. It's not looking good. Caught up a little bit there. I think we'll catch up a bit on eggs. No, we did really good on eggs. Tucked cards. Oh, we won! Oh my gosh, what a depressing game to play. But, yeah, did not expect that. Very close game. Thankfully that one missed point didn't matter at all.